Hi everyone, it's Miros and here on the table we have Huawei Mate 60 Pro and here we have Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and today we will drain everything from this device and mostly their CPUs because here we have Kirin CPU 9000S and here we have Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. We already knew that this Snapdragon here is more powerful than this CPU here, Kirin 9000S. But today we will test the peak versus the sustained performance between these two devices and their CPUs because it is not uh, important only to have the most powerful CPU which can reach the maximum performance but only for 3 minutes. This is not very good idea these days and every new smartphone, every new flagship is doing like this, every new CPU is very very powerful but for a very short period of time. That's why I will use that application CPU throttling test which is very old and it is already removed even from uh, Play Store but it can test that performance and not only that but I will go here in the options section and I will put here number of treats 100. This is the maximum number of treats and I will make the test for 30 minutes because this is uh, completely normal if you are playing a heavy game like Genshin Impact you will play it not, for, not only for 2 minutes but you will play it mostly between 20 and 40 minutes that's why I put it here 30 minutes test let's hit save and you can see both devices are connected to Wi-Fi network without any mobile network or SIM cards they are disabled for both devices we are just connected to Wi-Fi network, brightness is set around 90% for both devices and let's check the temperature before the test is started. You can see here we have around 24 degrees for Mate 60 Pro and here for the Galaxy we have around 21 degree. Slightly cooler device is the Galaxy but well, I think uh, this, they are uh, cool enough, the both devices, so we can start the test and see what will happen. Of course, we will not watch the video for 30 minutes, that's why I will start skipping. Let's just hit uh, start the test and I will co continue to explain you what will happen now. And 100 threads for 30 minutes test is started. So, you can see here max CPU clock for uh, Kirin CPU is uh, 2.15 GHz and here we have max CPU clock 3.39 which is a lot higher frequency here for the Galaxy S24 router. You can see we already at the beginning have uh, two small drops for Mate 60 Pro but to be honest performance is uh, continue to be sustained and we can see the GIPS performance this is uh, the measurement of the performance and we have a very high result here for Galaxy S24 Ultra almost half a million and here we have 306 and so on but the idea is to test these devices for 30 minutes and see when they will start dropping their performance on the Galaxy S24 Ultra is start getting yellow here the performance is uh, still sustained and we are keeping uh, almost the maximum which was the start point of the Kirin CPU and it is still green. Here we are start going down but until it match uh, this GIPS we have a long time to go. So 4 minutes are passed now guys I will come back after 10 minutes and we will check what uh, really is happening with this CPU. Let's just uh, check the temperature if uh, it's increased. Oh yeah it's increased for sure. It is 30. 5.6 here for the mate and here we have 36.5 for the S24 router so the devices are working at their maximum and we'll check how it will go after some time. Okay guys we are on the 10 minute mark let's check the temperatures first on the mate 60 pro what's happened here we have around 40 degrees here and on the galaxy what we have yes again around 40 degrees 39 40 degrees so the temperatures are almost equal for both devices but you can see what really happened 
Here on the right side we have the most powerful CPU right now on the market which is Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and you can see what is happening with the performance. It is down to lower than 80% and now it's on the mark of 70% it is uh, going orange the Kirin CPU is uh, maintaining the performance and it's keeping sustainability up to that moment it's lowering the CPU cores but with a very little the whole process here is going orange and we are still on the 12 minute mark so we have a lot more time to check the final result but for now, here is the situation. Let's come back on the 20 minutes. Okay guys, 20 minutes passed. Let's check the temperatures. Yes, we have very high temperatures now, around 41 degree for Mate 60 Pro and for Galaxy S24 Ultra, the temperature is around 40 again. So the temperatures are almost identical but we can see what's happened with the performance here we have already three red dips for Mate 60 Pro and Kirin CPU and the performance was down around 65% uh, we have one uh, red uh, dip here on S24 Ultra it is uh, clocked down the CPU cores for around a minute three times already we can see that and for a minute it can cool the CPU and the performance is uh, back around 85-90-95% uh, of it and here the Galaxy S24 Ultra performance is down around 65-70% and the CPU is not able to repair itself anymore the performance is just stayed there and we are still at 22 minutes and we have 8 minutes more to go and we need to wait and see what will happen and <laughs> the performance of both devices at that moment is almost identical if we can calculate that in GIPS you can see what's happened and here is the moment when uh, Kirin CPU is uh, clocked down the CPU course again I will come back on the 30 minutes mark and we'll check what is really happened with these CPUs Okay guys, 30 minutes are already gone and you can see the graph is very colorful now. What is really happened? Let's just wait the test to finish and we'll start comment the results. Let's check the temperatures. Here again is around 40. Yes, 40. And here it is around 38 maybe. Yes. So the temperatures again are almost identical and we can see finally the results. The test is finished and the graph is very, very colorful. You can see what uh, at the middle of the test, what Mate 60 Pro and its Kirin CPU is doing. It is uh, one minute down, one minute up, one minute down, one minute up. So it is able to cool down the CPU and restore the performance of the device and here you can see what is happening with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 it is uh, after the 5th minute it is going down to 80% and after that it start going down and it reached around 65% and was never able to restore its performance the performance at uh, one moment was already identical with uh, this one you can see maximum here performance and maximum here is very very high but as I already mentioned it was high for only 5 minutes or even 4 minutes and guys I start uh, this uh, process both phones were around 75% uh, battery remain in their capacity and now both phones are around 60 percent so in terms of battery drainage they are almost identical and are doing great job is that performance really matters it is a very interesting uh, question which uh, depends of uh, the answer how you will use your device if you are a very very heavy gamer even this uh, phone is dropping the performance it is still more powerful than this one so better get the snapdragon 8 gen 3 if you are performing mostly daily tasks this Kirin CPU will be more than enough. This is the main question, how you will use your device. But here the interesting part was 
how the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is very powerful but only for 4 minutes and after that the performance is dropped for around 65%. It was uh, to the point uh, where it is with the same results like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or something and almost the same performance as uh, this. So guys, thanks for watching. If this video helps you somehow, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Have a nice day.